before I even start. Hear that? Actual buttons from a switch. If you're an enthusiast that has an off-road switch, this is what you want to hear. It's like music, baby. If you have pod lights or rock lights or a light bar or all of the above and you're trying to power it, you need a good switch panel. The last thing you want to do is just put a bunch of harnesses with like 30 different switches inside your vehicle. One, you're never going to get that to align properly. It's going to just drive your OCD mad like it does me. So you want a good switch and there's a lot on the market today. Really, we don't know which one to buy, but I think this might be a really good option. This is the Dow Dynamics D-Switch, and in this video, I wanna unbox it, I wanna reveal it to you guys. I wanna show you why it might be better than others, and then hopefully at the end of this, we can conclude if this is one of the best or not for your vehicle. Let's get this baby opened up and see what it comes with. Right away, you're gonna notice this. This, I'm assuming it's mounted inside of your engine bay, and it is massive. Looks like we got the switch panel here. And we've got all of our wiring. We got our positive and negative leads. These things are thick. Looks like powder coated stainless steel hardware to mount this inside your vehicle. And all of the stickers you could possibly think of. Just look at all the things that you can control. A rear camera, your ignition, your oil fans, your trans fans, your driver's seat. I don't know why you would want, oh, let me get my seat warmer here. Let me just push the old button. That's weird. You can operate your wipers with this D-switch. I mean, obviously you can do this with any of the switches. There's just so many different options. It makes a lot of sense to have a switch panel inside of your vehicle. And of course, how can you go wrong with some Dow Dynamic stickers you can slap on the side of your vehicle? In another video, real soon, I'm going to buy every single switch and do a full-on review to try to figure out which one is truly the best. Right off the bat, I've noticed that this Dow Dynamics is probably one of the top tier. And I would also venture to say that it's more for the uh, enthusiast that's gone a little bit too far with aftermarket lights. What I mean by that is if you have a lot of lights, this is the switch for you. There's literally eight buttons you can choose from here. That's more than most switch panels. Normally I get like six, um, unless you've got something like the uh, touchscreen S-Pod system or something. So we got eight of them right here. And then something you don't see every day is a specific button here. It's BL or backlight. A lot of the off-road pod lights out there, or even a lot of the light bars, like one I had on my truck years ago from Vision X, they have a backlight. It's really cool that you can just push this button and connect all of your backlight wiring to that one switch. Now, all off-road pod lights that you purchase today have a different power draw. Some have a lot more power draw than others, like the Morimoto Big Bangers. They draw so much power, and thankfully, Dow Dynamics thought ahead and they built this. Let me show you this. Let's open this thing up. It is really hard. It's childproof for sure. And you'll look and see what's inside here. So this will get connected to your switch panel and it does come with all of that wiring that's needed. But inside here is where you're going to connect all of your wires from all of your different pod lights and uh, off-road light bars and whatnot. You'll notice up here, you got four different spaces and it says 30 amp there, which is plenty enough. You don't even have to use your relay harness with a big banger harness. So you don't have to use a relay harness from another off-road pod light to get connected here. It's all built in right here. You also notice down here, you've got one, two, three, four, which is your 15 amps. So if something draws less power, you connect it into here. And then that corresponds with one of the buttons right here. Now there's also this one here that I don't see on a lot of other switch panels. It's not on my truck, it's not on the Bronco we have here from Headlight Revolution. This is the backlight area. So you take the power wire from your backlight, from whatever product you have, strip that back, and you insert it right here. And that's how you can control it from this one button, all of your backlighting. It's super cool, it's super easy. I will say though that this is actually pretty big and you are gonna have to mount this in your engine bay it's pretty thick, just keep that in mind if you've got a lot of off-road stuff already crammed into the hood of your engine bay. The last thing you wanna do is try to put something this big in, but maybe it's kind of inevitable. If you have that much stuff, you're just gonna to have to find a workaround. This entire thing is super durable. It's a solid state design, so you're not gonna have any water intrusion or issues with that matter. 
It's going to work no matter what kind of weather conditions you're driving in. It is IP67 rated. It has a 120 amp total power budget. This thing is beefy. It has no fuses or relays for that extreme durability. They also offer a three year warranty with this. So you don't have to worry about it failing by any means. Now for the fun part, I'm going to just take a bunch of random off the shelf, off-road pod lights and off-road light bars and even some rock lights. I'm gonna plug it all in to show you guys how this thing works. There's a couple of different functions that I don't have on other products that we've tested before, like the strobe feature or this wig wag feature. And it even has Bluetooth so it can connect to your phone. I wanna see if there's any lag there because that's a major issue if you do have one of these switches is that you have an extreme lag. And so it's actually not very fun to use. I'd rather just use a nice click it button like this. There's no locking tabs on these things when I plug this in, but I will say it sounds really satisfying when you get it plugged in. Listen to this. Oh, that's good. That ain't coming apart, really. That's pretty good. That's solid. Still IP67 worthy. I'll take it. Before I grab all of the pod lights and just confuse every one of us, let me show you what I've done so far. I've plugged in the switch. If you've never done this before, you do have to run this wiring through your firewall. And that's not always fun. Depending on the car you have, it might be a little difficult, but you can disconnect it here. And that is a plus. You're gonna be able to disconnect it so you don't have to pass everything through your firewall, just this wire that this switch panel goes to. So you have this thing connected and mounted in your vehicle somewhere. Where, it's really up to you. I've seen people put it on their visor. I've seen it lower down by your feet. I've seen it hidden, so you have to reach underneath to push the buttons. Thankfully, like I said, you can actually hear the buttons, so you can at least feel around for it. That will help you a little bit. No matter where you mount it, pass this through the firewall. This is now sitting in your vehicle. One thing to note, these long positive and negative battery terminals that have to get connected to your battery, they're like two and a half feet long. That is super convenient, because like I said, this is pretty chunky. And the last thing I wanna do is be limited to where I can mount this in my engine bay. Every engine bay is different. You need this extra length. So thank God on Dial Dynamics, they did that and supplied a longer lead so that we can mount this with more easy access. Now, it comes to this wiring mess, and this is probably the most confusing part, but it is customizable in many different forms or fashions. Let me power this baby on and show you what I'm dealing with. That's as if I just started my car, right? And I've got this wire right here, it's the white wire. The white wire seems to be the ignition wire. That'll power this on. If for some reason your ignition is off, the power will go off. That'll keep you from having your battery get drained, which is super, super convenient. So I'm gonna have this on. I'm pretty sure this blue one makes the lights a little bit dimmer, so if that's too much, you can have them dimmed like that. That's pretty convenient here. Remember, you're gonna have those little stickers over top of this, so this might not be as bright as you see right here. And the red, green, and blue wiring is all that customizable wiring we can get into later in another video. All right, let me start with the Dow Dynamics SS5. This is a big old pod light you can mount to the top of your vehicle. Depending on how many you have connected will depend on which area of this panel you should connect to. Like I said, this is a 15 amp draw, and these draw about six amps of power. You can chat GPT how many your pod lights run so that way you don't do it wrong. This is six amps. If I had two, it'd be 12 amps. To be safe, I would probably connect this to the 30. Since I'm only connecting one, I'm gonna connect it right here to the 15 amp section. I'm just gonna put it to number one. Using a Phillips screwdriver, you can loosen these babies up. Since this one has a backlight, we've got red is positive, black is negative, and then white would be going to the backlight area. And if you've never done this before, red goes to positive, and tighten that baby down. Black is negative. Let's tighten that down. And let's connect the white wire to the backlight area. Now let's see if this works. Let's hit BL, backlight, heck yeah. If you had all of the backlights lit up on the front of your vehicle and it was amber or a white, however you want it, or even an RGB backlight, it'd be so cool to just to hit one button and have them all illuminate at the same time. That's a sweet feature. Now let's see where I connected to this. Oh, first try. That's cool too. So when it's on, you're gonna notice it's blue and when it's off, it's green. And I'm pretty sure you can customize that as well. So on is blue, off is green. 
pretty sweet. You can do the same exact thing for your rock lights, your light bars, and so much more. I'm gonna just install them all real quick, and then I wanna show you guys how it connects to your phone. So I plugged in some rock lights, I've got a light bar over here, and then I downloaded the D-Switch app from Dow Dynamics, and I got it on my iPhone that's got a shattered screen and whatnot. Didn't know how easy it was going to connect because sometimes this is a pain in the butt. It instantly connected and I could do a lot of cool things that I actually didn't know I could do before I even started this video. So I'm pretty sold on this thing. First off, you could change the colors of your switch panel like I was saying. That was a guess and it's totally true. You could change the color of whatever you want. So let me show you guys really quick on the app. When you go to the app, you can go to like the button backlight and the first one right here, when it's on, it's blue, you can actually change that to whatever you want. So if you want it, you know, orange or green or let's see, pink or something, I think it's so cool. And you can also change the brightness. If you go to the brightness, you can scroll up and it's super bright. I love that feature. And then also you could go down here, you could change the color of it when it's off. You can even change the button warning color. I think that's super sweet. All right, let's go back. You can even select the sensors. That's the configurable uh, colors right here. You got the red, black, and green, sensor one, sensor two, and sensor three. And you've also got the night mode, which was that blue wire right here. You can also just select it and then you can see everything here, all channels. You can make a specific channel night mode. It's super, super cool. And of course, the main feature, you got the buttons right here on your phone if you wanna be in front of your vehicle to see how it actually looks. Let's say you're showing off to your buddies, you're having a beer, you're having a good time, having a bonfire and you wanna blind somebody. Even my camera guy there has sunglasses on right now. If you wanna blind them in front of the vehicle, you can push the buttons right here and you can make it work. The coolest part is, and I know you guys can't see this on the camera, but there's even a feedback here. It's making this vibration feeling. Let's see, what did I hook these ones up to? Beep, 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 boop. There we go. Light bar is hooked up to button eight. That is so cool, it's instant. I don't know if you guys can see this. Ready and push. Absolutely instant, there is no lag. I wonder how far away I can get from this thing. Let me go away for a sec. I am 28 feet away. I know that because I painted this studio a million years ago and it's working just fine. <laughs> well, let's see how far away it can go. It is still working. I bet this is gonna work better than the microphone will. All right, I gotta be at least 50, 60 feet away. Bye. Oh, that's so cool. Let's see if I can turn on camera. If I turn on button one. Oh yeah. That's impressive. Was that 75 feet, 70 feet? I didn't actually calculate that. Also, I noticed you can turn it sideways. So if you have your phone mounted like that, you can have it sideways. The buttons still work just like that. You still get that feedback. I'm impressed. Dot Dynamics did a very good job on their D-Switch. It's way better than the one I have installed in my Bronco, way better than the one we installed in the uh, truck. I think that was Pro Comp. Like I said, I'm gonna test every single one of these to really find out which one's truly the best. So far, this is the one that's truly the best. And look at this graph to see how much better it is than everything else. I thought it was interesting. This is the only switch that had that dedicated backlight bus. To me, that is super cool. It's so much easier than pushing like six or seven random buttons to get all the backlights turned on at once. Having that singular button is awesome. The pricing at the top you see is at the time of this video. These are probably totally inaccurate with all the tariffs that are going on, but it gives you a good idea of where it sits. It's not the most expensive like S-Pod. It's not the cheapest. It's smack dab in the middle. We are definitely selling this at headlightrevolution.com. If you have any more questions, just put them in the description below. I have it right in front of me and I would love to test it and answer anything you might have. Go to headlightrevolution.com. Do not forget to type in your year, make and model so that if you're gonna get a vehicle specific product, you can get the right one that fits your vehicle.